death yesterday, a broad coalition of South Burlington leaders urged voters to say yes to question one on the November 8th ballot. Question one would authorize financing for the redesign of Market Street from Dorset to Heinz Heinsberg Road and a few new amenities like a year-round urban parkland. But not all residents think this is the best way to develop a downtown core. I put a lot of work into it, really believed in it, and it's been a huge disappointment. Paul Ingalls supported the development of City Center while he was on the South Burlington City Council from 2011 to 2013. But now he's not so sure. I don't have any qualms with, you know, there being a city center. I just don't know that these people can be counted on to do it. He's speaking out against question one on the ballot, which would initiate a state tax program designating funds to centralize South Burlington's downtown called Tax Increment Financing, or TIF. Ingalls points out that the council received federal funding five years ago for reconstruction. It's the track record. You know, I, it, it's, you know, if they haven't been able to do it up to now, why should we believe that they're going to do it with $5 million more? But there are also a lot of people showing support for the TIF, holding a press conference Thursday. The development of our own downtown has been the dream of this community dating back to the mid-70s. And on November 8th, voters are now going to have the chance to actually see this dream begin to come true. Bike and pedestrian issues um, involve people trying to get exercise, to recreate, and also to get from here to there. And both Market Street's design and Dumont Park's redesign make that so much easier for anyone who wants to do anything other than drive a car. The council already unanimously approved the financing, which would allow the city to loan up to $5 million for the projects. Every one of us feels as passionately as the other that this is a really, really important thing for this community. The South Burlington City Council is hosting one final public hearing on the ballot item before the election. It's on Monday, November 7th at 715 at City Hall. Now, council members also emphasize that approval of the TIF district will not raise your taxes. Live in the newsroom, Abby Isaacs, NBC5 News.